Jesus will ever go on to use the knowledge he gave while fighting for survival in the streets to become a great leader. And in time, that boy would grow to become king! The reason why we are alive today is by God's mercy. I said, nothing so good about absolutely nobody. I don't care how fine you think you are. I don't care if you think you're God's gift to every woman walking. What we're seeing is this modern feminist act starting to decrease. What we're seeing is those that follow individuals like Shira Seven Sprinkle Sprinkle or Prince Scylla, it's starting to decrease. Because what we're seeing is their methods are not working. You don't teach women how to disconnect from men, how to use men. You should be teaching women how to be feminine, how to be respectful, how to use wisdom and discernment. But yet, why take advice from a woman if you want to know about a man? Why not ask a man? And what we're seeing is tradition making its way back and taking its place traditional women speaking out traditional women showing you how it's done traditional men taking their place traditional men showing you how it's done which sin all of them all of them Everything you ever done wrong, young bro. So if you listen to Shira Seven, Sprinkle Sprinkle, if you are listening to Prince Scylla, and you listen to their teachings, and their teachings are false, and their teachings keeping you divided from the very men that you need, it's going to come back on you. It's going to come back on you. Reality is something. When it creeps up when you least expect it. And slaps you in the face. Hard. Real, real hard. You know the Bible says you will reap what you sow. What you sow. Same one that's laughing. You get knocked up and get pregnant. Your girl become 10 or 12 or 15. And the same thing you laugh about, now it happens to your daughter. That's right. So when you talking about you, you, you bashing men, because the man wouldn't pay for your date, your meal, the same ones you bashing about, it comes back on you. Remember, like I said earlier, it's something when reality will come back around and creep up. Think of this. Yeah. God said, you are reap what you sow. What you sow. In Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Follow me in your Bible, world. I'm warning you. Galatians Lord, chapter 6 God, and verse I'm 7. I'm warning you. This is the book of Galatians. Chapter 6. Chapter 6. And verse 7. Verse 7. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. God is not mocked. You don't play with God. That's right. You don't play with Elohim. And you don't play with his people. Especially his chosen ones. What am I saying? Translation. A large number of you women out there listening to Shira Seven and Priscilla playing men, treat men any old kind of way. Don't think it ain't going to come back on you. You use on men is turning around and being used on you. Drizzle, drizzle. Twizzle, twizzle. You see? You dished out. That shall he also reap. It's coming back. For he that soweth to his flesh. Whatever you dished out. That's right. It's coming back. Whatsoever, man. Street so. terms is this. What goes around, comes around. That's right. 
and believe me brother nobody can bring it to your doorstep like god can that's right Shut up! And yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. You hard head, stubborn, stiff neck, wild living man and woman out there. Go ahead. Go ahead. God wants you to repent. Repent. You want long life without obedience. That's mm. right. You want long life. Don't give God reverence. That's right. You want long life. And don't give God nothing. Nothing. When it comes to my relationship with Yahshua HaMashiach, I know my place. I know how to stay in my lane. I know how to move accordingly. Worship can be where you stand. Your place of prayer can be where you stand. Your place of peace can be where you stand. It's not about religion, it's about relationship. What is your relationship like with Yahshua? I remember I broke out of labeling. I don't label myself. Because Yahshua never labeled himself. When you sit back and you read... You research, you think, you bridle your tongue, you move strategically. When you do all of those things, number one, you're going to see what's coming at you. You're going to know what's coming at you. You're going to feel what's coming at you. Did you hear me? Amen. In fact, if the woman is not your wife and you're going to take your hands and knock her down on the ground and kick her and stomp her, and tell about you a man, man, you ain't no man. You ain't nothing but a fairy. Men should not be putting their hands on women and women should not be putting their hands on men. Punch her in the face, stomp her on the ground. That you. made you feel like a man and you woman you go right back to him? Yeah. No good pants, wearing pants, hanging down, manicure, nail box, haircut, buckwheat, hair looking thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Little pimp, when you get older, you learn, you do this. My Lord. You smack that woman back in line. That's the way you do it, daddy. That's the way you do it. You my pimp. Remember, you my pimp. Look at what you call your son. Yeah. A womanizer. No. Or you call him my dog, a trash eater. Hallelujah. You women call each other B I T C H. B I T C H. <laughs> yes. That's right. I'm a boss beast. Female dogs. Because all this ties around to the things that we see today and what's going on and why relationships and marriages are so jacked up. We got to get that back on track. You walk down the street with your CBS hair and your Amazon makeup Go ahead. and your corner store Lee stick on nails. Walking through the airport with your underwear. That's right. That's right. With pride. With pride. And love it. Love it. Your girlfriend say, hey, female dog, hey. <laughs> Where is your decency? Where is your respect? You teach your daughter to be a little hoe just like you. Yeah. Am I right? Yes, you right. Give me the Old Testament. In the book of Leviticus chapter 19. You see, oh, you hear what he said? That's why I don't like you. You call women holes a thing? Man, if you're not a hole, what you upset for? <laughs> now let me give you Bible for this. In the book of Leviticus chapter yeah, 19. I was, on, I was on a talk show. <laughs> I was on a talk show. He said, man, I caught your broadcast. People was complaining you were saying hole and all that stuff. He said, man, I said, look, it's in the Bible. He said, what? <laughs> he said, the Bible says that? Yes, I'm yes. about to read it to you. In the book of Leviticus. I want all the holes to look on. <laughs> <laughs>
Go ahead, if, you, if you got a problem, <laughs> if you got a problem with this, if this hits you, you know you're guilty. Yeah. Anytime you open your legs for every two-legged dog in your neighborhood, open your legs for the fire department, open your legs for the police academy, <laughs> open your legs for the neighborhood junkie, right. open your legs for your brother, open your legs for your daddy, open your legs for your uncle. Then what are you? What are you? And if you haven't noticed, I don't care if you don't. <laughs> You not used to nobody telling you about your wrong. So you keep most people don't like it when you expose them for the things that they do and say. Let me make that clear. When you begin to expose them for the things that they do and say, watch their behavior. Watch their body language. Watch their facial micro Right, man. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Hoorah. Hoorah. Yeah. What light you got to shine? You too, brother. You walking with your pants hanging down with your buckwheat hair. Go ahead. Driving around late at night, seeing what young girl you can pick up. That's right. Then you want to be respected as a man? No you born? A, you want to be respected as a lady? No I never saw no one get a cat and a dog mixed up. No. A dog bark, a cat meow. <laughs> the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. Follow me. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Do not. Do not prostitute thy daughter, thine daughter, to cause her, to cause her to be a whore. Amen. That's what it says. Do you prostitute your daughter? Mm. Do you? No, but a lot of them prostitute themselves. Modern feminist women prostitute themselves. Dress her up half naked. She only five, only ten, with earrings in her ear already. You let her wear lipstick. Yeah. Let her put makeup on her face. You put an eyebrow pencil in her hair. Yeah. A skirt this big and a blouse that big. Amen. Only ten years old and got on little shoes with straps all the way up to her knees. That's right. You put an ankle chain on her and a bracelet on her. And then you ready to lay some man out because he's looking at her. Look at the way you got her. That's right. You got her looking like a regular neighborhood hooker. That's right. And in most cases, she look like her mama. That's right. Look Am like I mama. right? Men, women, let's get back to that place called love. Until then, Shalom. To use the knowledge he gave while fighting for survival in his streets to become a great leader. And in time, that boy would grow to become king.